Hello? Hello? Mr. Brown? Oh, hello? Hi, message to Mr. Brown. Yeah, this is Ray Brown. Hi, this is Kimberly Centinella Hospital 8 West. I'm the nurse taking care of your mother, Miss Juanita Brown. Oh, you're assigned to my mom? No, I'm the nurse taking care of her. You called me earlier, correct? Yeah, so did the hospital assign you to my mom's care? Yes, I'm the nurse today. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, so how is she? She's doing fine. There's been no change in her. She's, she's getting better. She's still confused. We're trying to do discharge planning for her. Where was it that you wanted she was going to end up going home? Was it back home or was it to a Smith? The nursing home. Is she well enough to come home? Um, her condition is probably about what it was when she came, other than her um, dehydration has been resolved. And her um, the kidneys are fine. So we're just trying to do discharge planning to find out where you wanted her place. Oh, okay, so that means yes? <laughs> when she get discharged from the hospital, she will be medically cleared to be sent home. Oh, so she's okay to come home, right? Yes, when she's discharged from the hospital, the doctor has given an option to home or to, to a um, nurse at home. Say that again? The doctor has gave the option home or to a nursing facility. So that's his suggestion, either to send her home or to a uh, nursing facility? Yes. Depending on who's there to take care of her, if someone's there to take care of her, she's able to come home. But if not, she needs to go to a skilled nursing facility. Uh-huh. Because he, did, did she's he very have... confused and she, you know, has the potential to harm herself. How so? Back of the situation. What do you mean, harm herself? Well, she's confused. She has dementia, Alzheimer's, correct? Uh huh. Okay, so she has the risk of falling, going outside, harming herself. Okay. Um, did the doctors prepare the discharge papers, and then I can go ahead and uh, choose the home health care? No, not home health. What's it called? sent to a nursing home. No, home health care when she comes home. No, he didn't offer home health. I don't know if her insurance cover home health. I'm not sure. I have to yeah, well, she's over sure. 75 and uh, according, to my according to my research, she is covered. Okay, well, that wasn't, I don't know. Let me let you speak to the medical because she knows more about that. We're just trying to see where would you like her to go. Is yeah. it home? It's going to be home. Uh, okay. okay, if you assign the discharge order and the recommendation for home health care, which obviously that's the obvious thing to do. And uh, so you're not even involved as to whether or not her uh, health care coverage covers. No, I have nothing to do with insurance. Yeah, about, at all. yeah so home health care is an option when she but gets that's home. That's okay. Right? I don't have to be, because that. They, that's why I'm just calling for the, to find out what is your plan as far as being her caretaker. Is mm -hmm. she going to go home or is she going to go to a nursing facility? Okay, well, as soon as I can see her, I'll make that decision. So I need the uh, doctor to call me because they're... Right. So to make an appointment so I can come see my mom. Okay, I'll have the uh, medical social worker. Hold on one second. Yeah, I'll just go up to the hospital and ask her what she wants to do. All right? <laughs> obviously, you didn't ask my mom anything about what she wants to do. I asked her over the phone if she wants to come home on two different occasions. And it's obvious any patient being treated like you guys are treating my family would want to go home. Uh -huh. Hi, this is Annie, social worker. Um, just as the nurse had offered you, Ms. Uh, Brown is ready to be discharged in the next 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And so the, it sounds like the options are either to a skilled nursing facility or to home as long as she has care, 24-hour uh, care. Mm -hmm. All right, you need to send uh, the uh, 
care information to uh, this address and let me go get it? Um, sir, she, if I'm mailing information, that's going to take some time, but she, she will be medically cleared in the next day or two. Actually, tomorrow she'll be ready to go. Do you have a fax machine? Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I just went to go get the address. Now the name of the place is Chartwell Home Health and their fax number is 213-617-0974. Uh -huh. uh -huh. How do you spell the name? It's Charter, you said? Chart, C-H-A-R-T-W-E-L-L. -L. -L. My contact okay. person there, his name is Sally. And uh, just give her whatever she needs to set up the home health care here. And okay. uh, under the Medicare that my mom's currently covered by. Right, it'll cover uh, home health. I know. Uh, however, uh, so I, I, I'm aware that uh, home health will come out, you know, depending on the care. If it's a few times or uh, uh, like a, an hour or two visit uh, three times a week or so, you know, they'll, they'll assess how much visits she'll need. However, uh, I will have to see if the doctor will order that, the home health order, okay? Um, I also want to Do you foresee offer, a problem with that? Come again? Do you foresee a problem with uh, arranging home health care for my mother? I need to get an order from the doctor so I can send this over to the, to the agency. Oh, so you already so, know what they're going to ask you for. <laughs> come again? So you already know what they're going to ask you for because that's the same thing she told me. That's the same thing Sally told me. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they know that they need to get an order, and I will need to and it, Okay, so and, okay, so in order to uh, get them the order to discharge my mom, the doctor's going to have to be contacted, given this information, and then he writes the order discharge, correct? Right, right. Okay, he makes a note that... Uh, so, can I ask you a quick question? Have you used... You, you have never used this agency actually before, right? I've screened them. They're very, they're much better than the uh, home, uh, the skilled nursing center. That place is, you've got people roaming the halls, playing bumper cars with their wheelchairs. Uh, you've got uh, uh, ill people neglected. It's a cold, noisy place there. So, uh, you know, and she was there the last time, and then uh, while she was in the hospital, her condition deteriorated, and then it got better. But then, at the time that you guys wanted to release her, she caught pneumonia. Then you sent her to that nursing facility at 950 Flower Street, where she spent two days dealing with pneumonia before she could get an x-ray. So uh, when she got home, her uh, condition improved immediately, just for the joy of being home and away from the torture. So. With that information, uh, I guess you're culpable for knowing, you know, my position and all that information, which is pertinent to my mom's uh, uh, health and well-being. Is that understood? I can also provide you. I'm just saying, is that understood? Caregiver, um, it's more. Sorry, uh, care, so home health, they don't provide actual. Care, you know, like around the clock. However, there is another well, agency that do recognize uh, that use Medicare insurance as well, mm -hmm. and uh, we can make that referral to that agency. I think it's called Right Star um, Caregiving, and so that sounds a little bit more appropriate for your mother because she. I'm assuming you're not there, you know, all day and all night. Yes, you are assuming. Sorry. I said yes, you are assuming whatever you are going to finish saying. Okay, so what, what, how much uh, um, like supervision are you able, are you capable of providing for Ms. Uh, Brown? For the past five years, I've been tw pro pro providing 24-hour care and love okay. and passion for my mother. Okay, so I do, I, so you are giving her 24-hour care. So if you do need additional information, I can give you that uh, phone number. I, I just have to kind of go through my file in a few minutes. But that is also an option. Um, 
you know, we would like to leave with you. Um, I can also leave a few more referrals with her. So when she does transfer, then all, all the referrals and her belongings will be sent with her at home. Okay? So I just basically want to set up, so if you do need the phone numbers for future references, that they're with her. Hello? And is there something else? I mean, you need, did you say you need a phone number? I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Can you uh, hear it again? Yeah, I didn't get the part about the phone number. Okay, so did you, did you verify that you're able to give her 24-hour care, then it doesn't sound like that we need to set up anything right now. But I'd still like to give that as an option for the future. And so we'll leave the phone numbers with her. Okay, so when so, she captures all her belongings, all her things, uh, we'll also include the phone numbers with her belongings, okay? So is this a typical procedure? I mean, since you have me on the line right now saying everything you've just said and asking me everything you just said, is this typical? This is, this is all discharge planning, yes. Okay, who's, uh, who's, uh, I'm trying to find out who's making these decisions. Uh, what kind of decisions are you talking about? Okay. Um, you have the, uh, okay, you know, scratch that question. Let's just uh, recap before I uh, drop you. Uh, you have the fax number to Chartwell Home Health, correct? Yes, I have that phone number, yes. Okay. And you did say my mom's uh, prepared for discharge within the next 24 hours, correct? That's what it's looking like. And you did say that she's healthy enough to come home, correct? Uh, the doctor said that she will be medically cleared at that point. What does she look like to you? Um, you know, I, it's hard for me to say because I'm a social worker and I'm not trained in, you know, cl clinically, but, uh, you know, I see a lot of elderly patients. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with, you know, you know the, the skin and, you know, physically all patients decline and, you know, it's, 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 elderly patients go through drastic changes. You know, once, like, for example, I see patients, when, once they have one fall, um, they come back again, it's like, it's like a whole different person because it's just naturally, they're just declining. And so, um, you know, it's hard for me to say, you know, if she's okay or not. Have you ever but, seen my mom? Yes, I did. Yeah, oh, really? Okay. What you, oh. Did she have anything to say to you? Come again? So did she have anything to say to you? Could you, um, could you get anything you, out of her? I, it's hello? Hard, it's, I was I'm just, sorry, I mean, I, I, yeah, I phrased that the wrong way. But, um, when I talk to my mom on the phone or whether I'm there, she, her, I mean, her, uh, she can't really communicate like she did three weeks ago. Yeah, I, 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 kind of, I gathered that from what the uh, nurses have said and, you know, all previous documentation, too, so, you know. So it, did you get to talk to her? Uh, you know, I didn't. I saw her yesterday, mm -hmm. but uh, that was when she was getting transferred up here, so mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to actually speak to her yesterday or today. Has but it, I did I, wanted to know from, from family right away what the decision is, so. Oh. Has the doctor seen her at all? Uh, I believe so. I, I know that he came and he saw the patients that, you know, he's in charge of here. So. Okay, I'd really like to know that for sure, if there are any way to find out right now, if he's yeah. actually yeah. talked to my mom or seen her or, or oh, run any sure. tests. I could, I could just ask real quick. Okay. Um, can you hold? Sure. Oh, so is he there now? I'd like to talk to him. No, he's already left the floor, I'm sorry to say. Okay. Well, he's somewhere in that hospital, right? <laughs> he is here, yeah. Okay, cool. Send me to somebody who can page him. Tell me your name again. My name is Annie. Okay, are we done with our business or is there more? Um, so, it, again, it sounds like you're you're wanting her to go back home. We can see if we could get a, the home health order. Well, you know what? Um, My mom is an individual and she's a U.S. citizen. 
and uh, there's been a lot of talk including from me but I've always held on to one thing and that's who she is so um, I've asked her a, a couple of times over the phone what she wants to do and she said she wants to come home okay and uh, well, so I'm gonna I come mean, to the, okay so you know that's the whole thing right there I mean it's what she wants <laughs> mm -hmm. well you know that's that's why you have these kind of conversations with your family before anything like you know before their mental status change so you're able to advocate for that's correct for, for her so yes. if that's what she wanted then you know you just have to go with what you know about your mother so. yeah there's one more thing I, I, I want to ask you. I know you might not know, but if you can get the doctor to call me, this is just the one specific thing. It's a, it's a prognosis on my mom's health for the future. Now, what I'm not, I'm not referring to anything immediate as far as her uh, medical prognosis. Um, I for, can give you what, you, what can happen is... Um, what I'm saying is we that... We can give you his, off, his uh, phone number, yeah. and then um, they'll have the doctor page. Yeah, okay? Okay. just okay, tell him. one second. All right. Yeah. I've heard his number is three two three. Uh huh. Six four four. Seven thousand. No, six four four. Uh huh. Forty five fifty five. And um, can I have your contact number because I know the nurse had called you, but I don't know what's the um. Okay, sure. It's uh, ready. Direct phone number. Okay, this is our number. Two one three. Mm hmm. Four thousand. Mm hmm. Fifteen. Five. So that's four thousand one five five. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Thank you, Miss Mr. Brown. All right. And we'll we'll inform you once um, we find out what you know whether home health has come come through. And, well, uh, according to well the way me, uh, Sally and I have an arrangement, the moment she gets the uh, the discharge order. Mm -hmm. uh, her uh, registered nurse, I think her name is Rachel, will come by the house. We've all get it, got it set up, so as soon as she gets it, she'll be here day or night. Oh, uh, I see. And then uh, we'll have the home care because the doctor, her previous uh, primary doctor when she was at the hospital, Dr. Tung, mm -hmm. he drug his feet on the uh, home health care, signing off on it, and... Um, she spent 11 days home with just me taking care of her, feeding her, bathing her, and, uh, you know, just caring for her. And uh, that was, it, it, the medical part of it would have prevented her from being brought back to the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Not to say anything was wrong, but that since the home health care lapsed for 11 days, we had to bring her back to the hospital to get the home health care. You, you see what I'm saying? Well, you know, this it's uh, sounds like you're, you're pretty stressed out about what's going on with your, mo your mother's care and just her condition. So, mm, oh yeah. You know, just as long as you, you know, you know just stay in contact and, and keep the communication and uh, just be honest, then you know, let's, we'll just work together with uh, you know with her care. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have okay. the address and uh, you have my contact name. So um, uh, I, I should hear the from the uh, from the doctor telling me that he had the orders prepared and that she has it or I should hear from uh, Sally. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll follow up with that okay, and, and we'll let you know. All right. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye.